Hey guys, it's the History Nerd here with an Order of Battle game, but it's not Pacific, it's the Battle of Britain. This was a mod released for Order of Battle uh, Pacific. Oh, geez, September? When, battle, when the Battle of Britain, when the anniversary started, um, to show off the mod support for the game, uh, the developers released this mod, which is the Battle of Britain. So let's go take a look. Uh, we got scenarios, the Battle of Britain. We've also got the unit demonstration. I'm not going to bother with that because I've played through it uh, once and I did so-so. Uh, <laughs> setting difficulty, we'll set it to level 3 of 5 because that seems like right down the middle. Combat randomizing, war is unpredictable. Combat outcome is slightly randomized and does not match the prognosis exactly. That is exactly what I'm going to be keeping on. Quick unit experience. Units gain experience much faster to allow acquiring elite units over the course of a single scenario. Well, that might be fun for the Battle of Britain. I'm going to leave it turned off. I'll just leave things going as they normally do. The English Channel, July 1940. As German forces capture the islands in the English Channel, the battle for air superiority between the Luftwaffe and the Royal Air Force has begun. Control over the sea lane is vital to Great Britain, both as a route for naval convoys and a natural barrier against enemy invasion. Let's launch this up, shall we? Now, why are you coming back to Battle of Britain, History Nerd? Because it's a new year. We got some, some things to take care of on the channel. And it is a good game. Um, as I said in my last episode of Order Battle Pacific Japan, uh, it's the little things that aren't really pushing this through for me. Um, but what we will do is we will get back to that after the briefing. Let's go ahead and start the mission briefing. Shortly after the fall of France, the German Air Force is being redeployed to airfields along the coasts of France and Belgium. While the Luftwaffe is not ready to begin operations against Great Britain herself, they have started small-scale operations over the English Channel. These attacks are mostly targeting naval convoys on their way from the Atlantic to ports in eastern England. Aside from threatening our merchant shipping, this is clearly an attempt to lure out the Royal Air Force and probe our defences. The Germans are unaware, however, of our advanced radar system deployed all along the Channel coast. This chain of high-frequency radar stations can track air activity as far as northern France, thus providing an early warning against enemy air attacks. Essentially, <coughs> our task is twofold. First and foremost, we must protect the British homeland by intercepting raids against military and civilian targets. Secondly, as the main deterrent to enemy invasion, the fighting strength of the Royal Air Force must be preserved throughout the battle. The fate of the free world rests upon the courage and perseverance of the British people. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duties, so that many years from now, men will still say, this was their finest hour. Alright, so for those with a keen ear, that was the YouTuber Jingles doing some voice work and some uh, narration. So, Battle of Britain. Why would a game called Order of Battle Pacific do a mod on the Battle of Britain? I'm not exactly sure why. But I'm kind of glad they did. Now, I do, I don't know, maybe some people might feel that I was a bit harsh on Order of Battle Pacific uh, in my last video on that series because of, you know, basically going after it for not being unique and or special in a unique way that tickles my fancy. In this scenario, that doesn't really matter. You're fighting one battle. Now, it is a 36 turn battle but that's it when this scenario is done there's nothing after the battle of britain there's no operation sea lion or an early uh you know commonwealth only overlord this is it's just the battle so let's go over what that means well you can see here we've got two squadrons of hurricanes two squadrons of these bolton paul defiance um, now, I don't know what these are. All I know is they get upgraded pretty freaking quick when I'm in this campaign. Uh, we got some anti-aircraft guns, and then that's it. So, two anti-aircraft guns, one, two, three squadrons of Hawker Hurricanes, and two Bolton Paul Defiance. 
that's all we got. So, <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, for anybody who knows Battle of Britain, uh, we're going to fight a bunch of airplanes. Now, the problem's here. Like, we got a Stuka here. I don't care. Um, that's not a problem. We can take one of our hurricanes. Send them down. We can shoot down Stukas with hurricanes for days. That's not a concern to me. Uh, where is the last group? Ah, uh, I guess we might as well get these guys out. We know there's going to be planes coming from there. And then these... Defiance will just kind of get to hold back, chill around, you know, chill around. That seems like a good idea. I'm going to keep... Uh, although, it might be better to have the anti-aircraft gun cover the radar installation there. That might be a much better idea. Um, and we're not going to be getting up any sort of anti-aircraft to cover that installation. So we'll just leave those guys there and uh, hit the next turn. So a couple of things to explain with this scenario. As you can see, we got no we got no ducats. We are broke. How the United Kingdom gets money in this uh, scenario are these freighter convoys. So as they come into port, uh, as they come into London itself, uh, we get money. So we also do, I think acquire money on a turn-to-turn -turn basis um, at the moment we don't have a lot of money which is not so great as you could imagine we have those guys rolling and we got a BF 109e up in here this is gonna be it's not like shooting stukas basically those poor hurricanes are um, <clears throat> are not doing so hot. And then these Defiance. This is a plane, like I say, I've never heard of before. But it looks like they've only got a tail gunner. But they're not a bomber. I don't know what's going on, but it's crazy. Anyway, let's get you in. Blast down the Stukas. And like this, this is just a, a rear turret uh, show-off fight, basically. What do we got here? A Messerschmitt with a Hurricane. Again, this isn't... This isn't, you know, a, a, a situation I enjoy. And I would very much prefer to get some um, Spitfires in the air. So why don't you, you might say. Well, let's go over to our Purchase tab. <clears throat> You can see, because the submarine Spitfire, or Super Submarine, <laughs> Submarine Spitfires, heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, Supermarine Spitfires, they are, of course, quite expensive. The Hawker Hurricanes are a little bit less expensive, and these ridiculous things that I'm going to get rid of as soon as I possibly can are even cheaper. We can also get, um, well, we can't get any anti-air now. We could also get, um some bombers and build up the RAF bombing capabilities which will come into play as the scenario develops of course we're not just going to be focusing on defending Britain's airspace uh, we're gonna have to look at you know punching back against the Germans maybe doing a little bombing runs of our own we will see Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to save that transport ship, but we are already at 140. Germans have destroyed a convoy attempting to cross the channel. That will happen. Um, don't fret. Now, <clears throat> we got this Messerschmitt, who's going to be doing more damage to this hurricane than we're going to do to it. We also have a Stuka come along. We're going to move our hurricane to go after the bomber. And then hope that this hurricane doesn't take too much damage so we can pull her back and, um, and repair. 
Um, the exist the the aircraft you start the scenario off with do have two ranks of experience, which makes them really really good. What especially makes them good, and I'll show you with the next defiant they get a hold of. Oh yeah, that was good. Let's get in there. And it looks like that. That Messerschmitt is almost dead. We could try to kill it. We're probably not going to kill it. So let's get this Defiant on the ground. Now, <clears throat> let's go. We'll have to wait till next turn. So let's take the other Defiant. And let's get you on the ground as well. And we will just give chase to the Stuka with that unit of Hurricane. And I think that's going to be it. Let's go next turn. And yeah, those Messerschmitts will come after you, and then the Stukas will kind of do their thing. And initially, you gotta kind of, at the first few stages, pick and choose what you're gonna go after. Another convoy has been lost, which is not, not great. But, let's go here, let's take you, and let's upgrade you to some Spitfires. So. Now, what should happen, because these guys have two levels of experience, if we upgrade you, we now have a Spitfire with two levels of experience. And the losses were replaced. Were they? It doesn't know. Unit strength points of 10, but it's saying 8. I don't think they got replaced. Which, uh... You know, that does, that does suck. But, what we're gonna do is, um, bring the hurricane home, because these guys will need to replace their losses. We've got this area fairly well covered with the anti-aircraft gun. We can just leave them doing their thing. Um, how's your fuel? I guess we're doing good, because we don't have to land yet. So let's go and finish off this Stuka. That's good. And then, let's take you and get you out of here. Because, yeah, we're going to need to land you. Now, we're, all, we're also sitting on 116 uh, ducats here. We know we're going to get more because we got two freighters in the bank. Uh, so let's see if we can't get ourselves another squadron of Spitfires. Now, where would be a good place to put these guys, one might ask. And I think over here will be the best bet. Oops. Over here will be the best bet. Um, yeah. I should have put them one further so they could cover the hurricane. Oh, well. Uh, let's get you landed. And next turn, we'll be able to upgrade you. Uh, I hope. Stay together. Okay, let's see. We got a ton of money. An allied effort. After initial hesitation, the British government has approved the creation of several squadrons composed of foreign pilots. Coming from nations such as Poland, Czechoslovakia, Belgium, and France, many of these men are highly motivated and experienced in combat against the Germans. And we lost another convoy. <clears throat> A merchant ship has successfully traveled along the channel and into the Thames River, ready to unload its precious cargo in the ports of London. Glorious, so we got tons of we got tons of ducats. We can 
Take this and upgrade it to a Spitfire. Perfect. We can probably, what do we got, 200? So we could get two more squadrons of Spitfires, which we might do. Um, I don't want to go too heavy into the Spitfires because the Hurricanes are actually really, really good against bombers. Um, basically what we want the Spitfires for is air-to-air uh, -air combat against ME-109s. Um, they are quick enough for sure to, to hunt down bombers if need be, but... Um, you know, it's it's Battle of Britain, man. You need Hawker Hurricanes. Because you just, you do. Uh, we can see we've got some big bombers coming already. Uh, they're ready to go. We'll send up some more anti-aircraft rounds. What else we got? We got this guy who can hunt down uh, this Stuka group. He will start making friends. With that Messerschmitt, though. And that's good. Knocking down that much strength of the... Of the Stuka is just fine with me. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself uh, another Hawker Hurricane here. So let's slap you there. <clears throat> where we've got kind of a gap. Although I guess maybe back here would have been a lot better. Uh, can you launch? Not yet. Okay, next turn. So, I mean, I guess now, six turns in, might be a good time to go over our objectives. Uh, keep British morale above zero. So I think as institutions get bombed, your morale drops. Uh, reduce the German morale to zero. We'll get to that uh, once we start bringing in bombers. Protect the radar stations. Destroy six Stukas. Destroy um, artillery battery 701E. That'll show up on the map. And do not lose five convoys. We've already lost three. This scenario does get easier as time goes on, unsurprisingly, because you get more and more planes in the sky. Anyway, let's get our hurricane up and let's take... What do we got here? We got a... Um, 109. So... Let's focus in on the bombers. We took one unit of damage, and it doesn't look like they took any, which is unfortunate. Because we would have been able to uh, knock them down with that anti-aircraft attack. <clears throat> um, that would be a good time to bug out. Well, we take this hurricane and send them that way, because we need more airplanes there. We'll take this... Spitfire and bring it down this way, which should engage that ME 109 unit going after this hurricane. So this hurricane can then land, rearm, and then go after the Stukas. Um, I don't like that this is just turning into a dogfight over southwestern England, but what can you do? <clears throat> Indeed, what can you do? Let's get ourselves some more units here. Let's get a Spitfire and two Hurricanes. Let's have these guys a little bit more central, though, because we do need some more protection over there. Still got 130 ducats left. We should have some transports coming in relatively soon. So let's hit that next turn. <clears throat> 
Well, abstracted. This scenario has been carefully based on maps by the Ordnance Survey of Britain. In the period of 1940 to 1945, this mapping agency produced documents for the British War Office. And we've lost another convoy. I don't think we'll be getting a 100% run on this mission today. Oh, so close, so close to them dying. What do we got here? A Hawker Hurricane against a uh, ME-109? I don't think so, although... It's really all we've got. So let's see if we can't bait them, shall we? We'll let you hold out for now. Um... There's the bomber. Okay, let's take the Spitfire and hope well, we're not able to, to completely get them down. Our anti-aircraft gun should do some damage against that fighter unit. And so they're down to two, which means... Uh, we're still not able to get a kill there we might be able well, we'll at least knock them down a little bit and then we can start posting these guys out further so we can start hitting the bombers before they even get close to the coast uh, which is obviously better our mission here is to prevent being bombed uh, we'll take the former Defiant airplanes. And you could probably do with a little rebase and some R&R. &R. I think that's it. Have we got anybody in range here? No. Nobody wants to play. Hmm. No, that is really not worth it, especially with the second 109 there. But we do need to get these guys down here for the Stukas. Um, hopefully that'll be okay. We got a Spitfire there. We got another Hurricane here. Yeah, that should be fine. Lots of airplanes. And our morale's at a whopping 60. Uh, okay, well, we can take you. As tempting as it is to go and chase down the big bomber, I don't want to engage them over France. So let's not do that. Let's just concentrate on getting those guys down. And then, probably, let's head out over here, because there's going to be some more units coming in. And what else have we got? There's a Stuka. So we'll attack you. Now, probably, it would have been better to go after that Stuka, but... It is what it is. Okay... And those guys, those guys are still not doing so hot. Let's land you. And what do we got here? We got a hurricane, which can head down that direction. No contacts there. So let's do our damnedest to shoot those aces out of the sky. Uh, let's, whoops, let's take you, replace your losses, and we got some more convoys coming in, which is good. Do we want to start bombing the Germans? The problem with that, of course, is, um, the expense of strategic bombers. A Blenheim wouldn't be that bad. A Wellington would be great. That's 150 ducats. At this stage... At 
At this stage, I'm almost thinking... Uh, what do we got? We got Messerschmitts, maybe... Maybe... Another Spitfire? We do have quite a lot of Messerschmitts over here. Another Spitfire probably wouldn't be amiss, so... Purchase and deploy you guys there. We'll get you into the fight with those two fighters, and that should be good. All right, well, I'm glad that bomber's coming around for round two. Let's take this hurricane and get them some experience. We have shot down a squadron of enemy medium bombers. Persistent losses of air aircraft and train crews should weaken the German ability to sustain this air campaign. So basically, yeah, you want to shoot down as many bombers as you can. Now, <laughs> there are flak guns, obviously, in um, France. So you want to you want to be cognizant of the fact that uh, once you start pushing into France you, you have a very strong possibility of getting shot at. Uh, let's get you up. Let's get you over here. To try and kill those fighter aces. What do we got here? We got... Oh, I would have much rather gone after the Stukas. That's fine. We'll start... Um, wearing those guys down and we'll probably get that unit back uh, quick as possible. You guys need to replace your losses. You... Should absolutely engage those guys. Stuka measures me. Ooh, that is, that is dangerous. So let's pull you back, and just see if you can maybe add to that. Um, and we'll see if we can try to hunt down that Stuka. Okay, do we need any more aircraft? I mean, I think the short answer to that question is yes. Uh, so let's get ourselves another group of hurricanes. I might be overloading the east here, but this seems to be where the first contact with the heavy bombers is coming in. So... <clears throat> ah, and there is the railgun. Alright, so knocking down that one German bomber, you can see knocked the morale of Germany down by five. So we want to get as many uh, German bombers down as we can. This submarine, or these submarines, these Spitfires definitely need to come home. Uh, we'll send the Hawker Hurricane actually against the JU-88 there. And I would like to get, right away, another JU-88 out and ready uh, to move in on that. Or another Hurricane to get in on the JU-88 there. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll just escort it across. There's another bomber squadron down. Well done, lads. And that's a hurricane going up against a Messerschmitt. Uh, at this stage, sure.
It's good to just get them down, although, especially those guys, I probably should have repaired instead. Um, let's see. You guys could use a repair next turn. Um, you can come. No, wait. You can come and assist there. And that's another ace down. What do we got? Stukas and Messerschmitts. I think that Stuke is returning. So we'll take advantage of this to have them also land and replace their losses. You are fresh. So let's send you down this way because who knows what those guys are. And you're ready to go as well, huh? Okay, up you get. Fairly even exchange. And yeah, I definitely need to get those guys back. Another merchant convoy has returned. We've got 300 ducats. What are we going to do with all the money? Uh, first off, we're going to need to uh, repair some units. So let's go and do that first. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, we won't worry about that for now. Uh, Spitfire, Spitfire, you need to come home. And Hurricane, you need to come up here to attack them, and you, Spitfire, need to go there. Alright, I'm feeling okay about the West. And I'm feeling very confident about the east. Uh, hur hurricane. Where is... There we go. And what else? I guess these guys could probably just do for good old-fashioned land. And you... We'll leave you over the channel for now. Um, there we go. Getting another hurricane for this area would probably do me wonders for bomber defense. So let's send you there. We've got two hurricane squadrons here, right? Two hurricane or oh, Spitfire and Hurricane. That should be just fine to cover this middle area, considering we've also got all of those aircraft. Um... Yeah... And... I think that's gonna be a good spot to leave this video for today, so thumbs up if you have enjoyed this episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.